EC36 Sports, Lineman of the Week, is brought to you by Davis H. Elliott. 75 plus years of electrical excellence. Tonight's Lineman of the Week is Daniel Strunk. He's an apprentice, too, from Honey Bee, Kentucky. He's been with Elliott for nine months. Congratulations, Daniel Strunk, as our Lineman of the Week. ABC 36 Sports, End Zone. Presented by Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Hey everybody, and welcome to Woodford County High School. Jeff Bacor and Hallie DeVore. It is our Clark's Pump and Shop game of the week. And boy, do we have a great win for you tonight in 5A. Two of the top teams, Woodford County hosting Scott County. Each of these teams, Hallie, have one loss, and this is a huge game for the playoffs. It is a really big game. Scott County 7-1 and one on the season. Woodford County 5-1 and one on the season. Scott County is third in 5A right now, and Woodford County is 6 and 5A. So like you said, Big matchup. Scott County has one loss on this on the season to Boyle, the defending 4A state champions, and Woodford has one loss on the season to Bullet East, the defending 6A state champions. So a very competitive game on both sides tonight. Scott County returns seven guys on defense, mm -hmm. so they're a little bit more mature, if you will, with their starters. Because for Woodford County, they only returned three starters on the entire offense and defense, but they do have those three starters on the backfield, and the one guy is their quarterback, Andrew Newsom, who was great. Last year, 20 passing TDs, 12 rushing TDs, so a dual threat quarterback. But mm -hmm. this is going to be a game that is going to be really one in the trenches because both of these are good, they're strong, and they're fast. Yeah, Scott County, they like to rush the ball a little bit more than they like to pass it, whereas Woodford County, they're a little bit more balanced as far as their rush and pass game. So we're really going to see if Scott County will transition to more of the pass game like they had to against Boyle, and that ended in a loss for them. So they kind of have to adjust a little bit depending on how much pressure, like you said, is in the trenches tonight. All right, also tonight, obviously, Big Blue Madness going on at Rupp Arena tonight. And congratulations to Nick Mangione, the baseball coach at the University of Kentucky, signs a five-year extension to stay at UK. So we'll be back again at 620. For Hallie, I'm Jeff. Come on out here to Woodford County. See a great game tonight between Scott County and Woodford County. Back to you.